Hello, everyone. I warmly welcome you back to this edition of Our Positive Word. I trust that you are well. Thank you for joining me. I hope your Sunday is going well. In a world where everyone seems to have too much to say, I pass by this moment to let you know that you can control your mouth. In able to control your mouth, you will be able to stand out among people who get into sticky situations due to their flippant tongues. Although there is that saying which says, silence means consent, I am yet to see anybody who got into real trouble by not saying anything. Sometimes we must speak, not keep quiet or silent when we should be speaking. But I'm just passing by today to remind us to control our mouths. There is a reason why it is written in James chapter 3 verse 2. We all make mistakes. So if someone never says anything that is bad, that person is completely good. It shows that he has authority over his whole body. I read that from the Easy to Read translation, in case you're wondering. The King James Version has, has it twisted, <laughs> complicated for understanding. But we all make mistakes. But when we're able to never say things bad, that makes us good people, completely good people. You have authority. You are in control of everything, your body. My friend, do you know how to control your mouth? Are you able to pause, to hold on, without rushing to speak? We're also told in Psalms 39 verse 1, I said, I will, watch, I will be careful what I do, so that I do not sin. I will also be careful what I say. When people are listening, I will not open my mouth. We have to speak. We can just stay silent. However, we have to make the conscious effort to control our mouths. That commitment to watch what we say is very important. You will spare yourself a lot of heartaches if you can only understand how to keep quiet, to control your mouth, to only speak when it is necessary. I have not mastered the art of doing that. I am still learning because sometimes we just want to run in there and I am also human and I do that. But I am praying God to give me the patience to be quiet. Like we're told in Psalm 13 verse 3, He that keeps his mouth keeps his life, but he that opens wide his lips shall have destruction. That's the King James. Let me read you the easy to read. Someone who thinks before he speaks will keep his life. But someone who talks too much will destroy himself. That's very self-explanatory. Talk too much, destroy yourself. You and I know people who have earned themselves so much problems over things that they say. Why not eliminate the possibility of that occurring by controlling your mouth. Let's do a couple of things. Think first. If we can pause, take a st brief stop to consider what we're saying about, we're about to say in our heads. You pause, think about what you're going to say in your head. We may not have to regret tomorrow what we say today. You think about this. Is what I'm about to say kind, true, exaggerated? Is it necessary or could it be ignored? Does it show that I am grateful or that I am complaining? To whose benefit or destruction will what I have got to say be? Another thing is to speak less. You will, have a, you will save a lot of energy. If you can control the frequency of how much you talk, the chances of getting into trouble will be reduced or it will disappear if you spoke less. 
there is a lesson. There is a reason why composing talkers, cantacurus people keep few or not many friends or no friends at all. The third thing, begin to practice this, this too today. Anybody who can control his or her mouth can control his or her behavior and actions. You be in charge of your life. The mouth is, a, is an unruly tool that wants to yap all the time. That simple act of control, mouth control, can save the world or save a life. Use it. It may not be easy. As we have agreed, it's not easy. That is why I recommend that we use this verse of scripture daily that we found in Psalms 1, 1, 141, verse 3. The King James Version says, Set watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. The easy to read translation says, Keep my mouth safe so that I do not speak bad things. It is not easy. It may not be easy to control our mouths. But with the help of the Spirit of God, we can do it. I challenge you today, my friend, to control your mouth. Thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again. Goodbye for now. God bless you.